Okay, so this is David with Skunk Tail Cards and Games. Um, this is going to be the uh, game setup uh, for uh, wildfires. Um, it's just going to go through and show you after you unbox it. If you haven't seen the unboxing video, um, please go ahead and do that. Um, take, a, take a view of that and you'll see everything you should get with the game. I'll briefly go over it here and then... Um, I'll show you just once you unpack the game, what you do with the pieces, and then there'll be actually a game where um, I'll be playing with somebody else so you can see how to play the game or follow along. There's instructions. So, okay, you get the, the game box here. This is the lid. Just moving it over here out of view. This is a main crux, the game board. It's a quad fold board. Open it up. Again, watch the unboxing video. I go through more of this in depth. But this is the board and how it'll look. I'm going to try to keep everything here in view and position. I don't want it to be out of, out of position there. Okay, so um, let's yeah, turn the board just like this. So you're looking at it this way um, as a player playing this way. Each player uses a compass in the corner. And this player uses the top left compass, where this player, looking this way, uses this compass. So there's four compasses, and each one uses their own compass, okay? Those compasses go along with the plots here. I'll show it. You can see there's letters and numbers on each one, like C1, D1, B, E1, F1. And then there's these little markers up here. These tell you, because there's going to be chips covering this letter and number and that'll tell you this is row or column f and this is says e up here column e d so forth and so on when you go to this side of the board it says one two three you know four five six sorry about this but it's the best i got for cameras and then so the ones here go along with the row one this is for row two so that way when uh, your tokens cover up these, uh, what they're called plots here, then you won't be able to see these letters and numbers. You use these as guides so you know what row and column you're in, okay? And then I'm also show you this too. These are uh, the match squares, match one for this player, match two, match three. Uh, it's hard to kind of do it here, match four, so forth and so on. I'm not, see I'm not sure exactly what you can see when I have the board this far away. I'll have to see that on a video, but after I, you know, edit it. But that's the basics of the board. Got the compasses, the match squares for each player. It's a two to four player game. Pick a side, use your compass, and roll the dice, basically. So the goal of the game is to not have as many trees as the next player. Um, stacked in your match columns at the end of the day or at the end of the game. All right, so I'm just going to show you a quick board setup what you should get again. Most of this show is shown in the unbox video, but I'm going to do it briefly so you can see. You get one die that has letters, numbers, and symbols or compass marks on them. Six sided die, one die comes with the game. You roll that three times per play. Okay, you also should get 36 green chips. Uh, tokens, I should say, and you should get uh, 36 red tokens, okay? These are the red tokens. All right, so what you're going to do with the tokens, and I've done most of them already. This is the end product, okay? <clears throat> you're going to get stickers for the tokens, and there's 36 tokens you'll get extra stickers in case you screw up putting them on because they stick pretty hard. And if you do them, you know, kind of off center or off the token and you want to redo them, they're pretty hard to get off. I'll show you, I'll take one off for the tree and apply one back on, but they stick on pretty well. So I, I took a sticker off, uh, the, they're called slugs, the sticker slug here. And all you're going to do is you're going to find the side that has a ridge on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see the ridge. The back side is all flat all the way around. This side has like kind of an indent. You're going to take the sticker and you're going to just try to get it there in the center. Push, push down. 
and then just kind of rub it on. That's all, it's on. And believe me, right after you put it on, it's hard to get off, so make sure you get it right. I did, I left three of these to do, just so you can see me do three of them. There's 36 red ones for the fire and 36 green ones for the trees. I'd say give yourself maybe 10 minutes, that's all it takes. Peel off the sticker, put it on. It's not that uh, hard to do. The reason they don't come applied already is it's just cheaper in the end for you um, to put them on yourself. Um, it allows you to get intimate with the game. Okay, so last one here I'll do for you. So you can see, and you'll do the same. Okay, so we got these. Now I'm just gonna show you in the box real quick here. See all the ones I did? Okay, let me get this junk out of the way. There's a tree in here, more pieces. So these are all the, the ones, and you can use the box when you do gameplay, because you'll take all the fire and you're gonna put them aside what's called the kindling pile. And these are the, the pile you'll draw from for fire when you need it in the game. Okay, so you'll also get uh, 36 uh, green tokens and they'll come blank without the trees on them just like I showed you with the fire. So you got that. Now I'm gonna just show you. So I have a tree here. Now I'm gonna wanna peel it off. I'm gonna show you how, how good the sticker's on. See, I really have to pick at it to get that tree off the token. And pretty much you have to go all the way around. And you have to have fingernails. Right now I haven't cut my fingernails. So um, you can hear it click. That's me, my finger hitting the token and me peeling up that sticker. So it's, it's on there pretty good. And I just did a simple, you know, quick and easy rub. And so you can see, see it as I peel it away here. It just doesn't come off like, you know, real easy. So it actually tore, that's how, how good it stuck on there. So I'm just gonna peel it off. So if you mess up, that's what you would do. Get off some, of, it's sticky too. I don't know if you can hear that, it's sticky. So try not to goof up, it's the best way to do it. Okay, so I have these trees still left over because you'll have extra trees too. And I'm just gonna do the same thing here, do the side with the ridge, and then find a tree sticker, get it in there as center onto that chip as you can. There's a lot of room on the edge to allow you to kind of screw up and if it's a little to the left or right or up or down, it, it won't matter. Still a tree on a green token, that's the main point. Okay, so. I'm going to take these fire chips that I showed you that I put on the fire on the red ones and I'm going to put them into the box here, which is a kindling pile. I'll show you more about how to play in a different time. This is a die, dice again. I'll just set it up here on the board. Okay, so when you do game setup, uh, two to four players, everybody can have a hand in this or have a preset for when you have game night for players. You're going to take all the tree tokens and you're going to put them on the plots here, the ones with the alphanumeric letters and numbers or circles on the board, 36 circles, 36 green tokens, pretty self-explanatory. So what you're doing here is you're setting up uh, the forest of trees. And the idea is, or how the game is played, is when you roll the die, you're gonna roll three times. The first one is called the letter roll. The second one is called the number roll. And the third one, you roll to find out the direction of the spread of the fire. Or if the, you put out the fire, or, um, yeah. So that's what the letters and the numbers are used for. The first one's a letter roll, roll and that tells you, you know, roll the die, I rolled an F. That's my first roll, an F. You ignore the six and the water symbol. <clears throat> and then you would just use um, the column here for the F. Right here, this is an, uh, the F mark. And then you would, you, you would find um, 
where you're going to place the fire in the in the F uh, column here. And then you would roll again, and I'll show you more gameplay, but just real quick, I rolled a three. So you roll again, okay, and it shows the number three. So I know to go in this area, how I'm looking at it, you go one, two, three, and then this would be the plot of ground that I would put a fire on right here. So you roll a letter, you roll a number that uh, zones you in to where on the board you put a fire, and then you roll again. I'm giving you a little gameplay here. This shows an arrow with an E uh, right at the bottom. That means east. Okay, so you, if you're looking, I guess, from this way, how your viewpoint is, you, you would find which way east is, and then you would, you would figure out which way that fire is burning, and you would wipe away the tree to the east. And then you would take whatever tree that you burned down and you put it whatever match that you're in on the game, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, and you would stack those trees in that match square, okay? So how do you know what match you're playing? That's where these matchsticks come in handy. These are telling you what player you are. You're either the red player, the orange player, the green player, or the blue player, okay? And you take these matchsticks, and there's, I don't know well you can see it here, but there's little squares up above what's these match squares here with the tree symbols, and you just place it in to that match square. So when you start the game, everybody, the orange player, the red player, the green player, and the blue player, it's two to four players, so you can pick your colors, puts their matchstick into their first matched area okay and everybody's in match one so every time you roll the die right you roll three times it tells you a four and what trees that you burn down and you take those trees and you put them in the match that you're playing and then once you're you know on to the everybody does match one okay then this first player to roll in this you know series um rolls and then they what they do is they move their matchstick uh before the roll right so they move their matchstick then they roll and then um what they do is they move their they keep that tells them what match that they're in now they're in match two so everybody is on the same page so everybody knows what match they're in nobody's like what match were we in i think match three match four no these little matchsticks move you along and keep keep you uh, going in the game and tell you where you're at. Okay, so that's, that's set up. Unfold the board, have two to four players, um, put all the trees in the tree plots here on the board, put these matchsticks, uh, how ma however many game players there are, and uh, if you have two players, you can play on opposite sides of the board, here and here, or here and here, or you can play, you know, next to each other, however you want to play. Three players the same way, pick a side, four players, all sides. All right, and then um, I'll show you gameplay um, on another video. But that's a basic setup. Um, again, you'll have your pile of fire ready to pick from in the box or whatever you use to put the pile of, of fire in. And then, just to show you real quick here, you also can follow the instructions. This also shows you um, how to set up the board, okay? And then it also tells you all the um, possibilities of what can happen during gameplay and how to, how to play the game, okay? So keep this handy and uh, read through it and then use it when needed. All right. So, um, appreciate, appreciate you watching again. I'm Dave with Skunk Tail Cards and Games. This is uh, Wildfires and you can find it on thegamecrafter.com. Thank you very much.